What up, guys? ETK here, man. We going uh, to the snake den with the girls. Uh, Trinity hadn't got to go spend time with any of the snakes lately, and so we're about to go do that right now. Um, and then we're going. To, we have to go there. We have to. Okay, there's some seed. I'm gonna go ahead and feed some rats right there. I'm gonna go ahead and feed some of my females that uh, give them some extra weight on them. And then um, we have to. I got this aquarium in my house. It's like 29 gallons. And so I'm gonna tear it down because I've had I have a total of four fish in it, and every time I try to put more fish in it, they just they just don't live. So uh, it's too big, and I don't want it there anymore. And so I'm gonna just put them in like a little two, three gallon tank or something, and just call it a day. And uh, so that'll be like our little little side quest we're doing today, dealing dealing with the snakes and dealing with the doing this uh, the aquarium. So that's our that's our deal today because we but I gotta work today, and then my girls are going home today. And then uh, from there, we'll just see what happens. I will we'll talk to you guys later. What up, guys? So check it. We found this little, our little firefly. Check out how spicy he is. He's so spicy. Watch him. Wow! <laughs> I love it, man. I'll make you get bit on purpose. Oh, God. His, his time in the wilderness has changed him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah! Oh! <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. He's so cute. <laughs> Oh, let me see that little booger. See, like, there's nothing to it though. Like, it's all about the way you, the way you handle them, and the way it is. This so is what's so cool. Like, once you just get them back out and just hold them and just like, it's just putting your hand in front of them and taunting them is what really makes them want to bite. It's that just that movement because it scares them. But they're, I mean, it's just the way they are. They're just trying to protect themselves. But yeah, I'm glad we found this little boy. This is a firefly. If y'all want to check him out, like he's actually going to be i'm gonna have to make sure he's eating and everything is but because he's been out for like a week almost running around the house but yeah he'll definitely be up for sale um i'll show you my whole collection if y'all want to hang on of babies let me start from the bottom and this is a super pastel little boy he's also going to be for sale but i'm just going to show you all my babies right now okay let's see oh this is I know I don't show you this one, but I'm gonna just show him anyway. He's not for sale. This is my beautiful Super Pastel Extreme Gene. I love him. He's gorgeous. Okay, come back. Yes. You clean it out. A little poop in there. This is my leopard, little boy. Still growing. I can't wait till he gets old enough to breed. I might breed him with my fire extreme fire pin stripe. I was wanting to breed my extreme with the with extreme, but I really would like to add an extra gene to the extreme fire pin stripe, or maybe get a leopard extreme fire pin stripe. So it'd be four gene. Maybe get me a four gene snake. You know, I got that's all about the odds. Well, hold on, man. Let me clean it out. I don't want to bite you. Well, he might bite you. What's this? Oh, he bit me. Let me clean it This is another little escape artist I had when I had them in bins. Yeah. Little, this is my little, this one is, yeah, I ha hatched her. She was a hatchling from last year, actually. And, uh, but she's, I love her. She is gorgeous. She's a little lesser, but she's beautiful. She's for sale too. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. If you like gravel, if you like highways, this is the perfect guy to have if you have a gravel female. Cause this is a, a yellow belly, and you know gravel and yellow okay. belly makes highways. Who are you Anybody for? that knows, there you go. Yellow uh, belly for sale too. That's, is he still in the cage with that one girl? Let's see. Who is that? Oh, that's Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Oh, this is little noodle. Little noodle gump. Little noodle, whom I'm guessing is a normal. Um, hey yeah, so there he is, which look at that fat belly. He's been, he's all, he's eating all, all good and all by himself now. Is the boy still in the cage? I hatched him last year too, and actually, of course, y'all know I saved him. That's the Mojave boy. Here's another in the cage with the girls too. super pastel, beautiful, beautiful animal. 
I know. I'm really. Yeah. I love that design on him. He's for sale too. Fire. I love fire. Fire is an awesome thing. Like, I love the way it looks in the light. Like, it has, she has like iridescence and everything. But check her out. She's my little fire girl. God, she's, she's gorgeous. Well, be careful with her. Why? What up? What up, guys? Um, so we just finished feeding off some rats, cleaning up some bins, uh, and doing some and showing you all my baby snakes. And then uh, I just want to tell you about this. We're going to uh, Walmart to pick up a small aquarium or something to change out those little fish we got. But besides that, like a guy hit me up that I sold a snake to back in uh, December, and uh, he's got like, let's see. I just want to tell you what he's got. Was, he says he's going to get in the breeding, and he's got his he's got his first clutch in the incubator. It's a butter itchy cross. He said his son going to live with his mom, and it's no longer they no longer have interest in or time to keep up with all all he has. And then snake racks, tubs, a few other things that can go uh, with them. I'd like to sell it all together. If you're interested, give me a call. Thanks very much. And so I'm trying to get this, uh, trying to see what he's really wanting for everything. And um, we'll definitely keep you guys updated on this deal because he's got like a rack. He's got a couple snakes. I, got, I don't know how many snakes he's got. He's got a clutch. He wants to sell me everything. His clutch, all of it. And I said, you know, no mites, man. Uh, if you got anything like that, I don't want it. Uh, but besides that, I will find out what all he's got because he hasn't given me a price. He just he just gave me like I just he just told me he just wants what he's got in it. And well, I mean, sometimes what you got in your stuff is not what somebody's willing to give you if you've had it for a while if you've um and you're just wanting to get out of the business or get out of doing it then you're going to have to come to an, a reasonable a reasonable price that somebody can actually you know think about because i spent a lot of money the other day on four racks so it's not going to be something i can just chunk out a bunch of money on right now because i'm trying to uh we want to go on vacation and we got stuff to do and i know this is my hobby and my business and that that's what i'm about trying to help other people out like this so i just got to see what he can do i'm gonna be like tgh and get give me your rock bottom price bro give me your what you can you know i i can't i'm not gonna sit here and give you like my, everything i got j just because that's what you put into it that's all i'm gonna say about that but guys we'll holler at you later hey guys, we're at walmart about to pick up that little tank we got to get to move all that out of that big old 29 gallon and uh we'll go in here and see what we can find talk right, to you in so a minute we decided to get this little uh two and a half gallon to put the four tiny little textures we got in it uh and just break down that 29 gallon oh uh, this is 22.97 i really don't want to spend 22 dollars right now because i could use it for something else but i need to get that i just need to empty that thing out and uh so we're gonna get this and then we're gonna set it up and we'll let y'all see the end result what up guys so this is the tank you see the few couple little fish in there and i'm going to throw that push that over here i'm going to take this tank and break it down to this little tank and you're asking why why don't i just add some more fish to it or whatever well the people I get this rent, rent from, they complained about the size of this tank. So I'm like, you know, whatever. I said, I, I mainly got it for my son anyway. And, you know, I've I had some bigger, I wanted to have some nice fish in it for him. But uh, nothing really lived, nothing really lived except for these five little, four little fish. So I figured I would just go ahead and break it down and maybe just get rid of, sell the tank or whatever, or do something with it uh, for rats or something. And then just put these little four fish in this little tank. Uh, but I'll do that tomorrow. I can't. I don't have time to do it today. I have to work. Uh, so we'll. You'll get a update on that tomorrow. We'll talk to you guys later.